Animal Behavior. While listening to a lecture in her advanced placement biology class, Katie realized a connection between the animal behaviors her teacher described and the everyday behavior of her classmates. Her mind wanders, and in her head she begins to daydream. Parasites. The scene in the hallway is similar to an animal behavior called chemical communication. Animals often produce release or pheromones that trigger behavioral changes in other animals when they are eaten or smelled. After Matt sprayed on the cologne, he emitted a strong odor that attracted his female peers. Me. Who? Matt! He doesn't talk to me, he doesn't do anything to acknowledge me, he acknowledges you, he hits on you all the time, and you have a boyfriend. Well, have you ever talked to him before? Not really. Maybe he doesn't know who you are. No, he knows who I am. Why? How does he know who you are? He's, he's never seen talked me to before. him. Do you see him often? Kind of. Do you stalk him or something? No, I don't stalk him. Not really. Not really? I don't stalk him. I just see him in the hallways. Oh my god! That is the most disgusting terrible ever! Oh. Hey Connor, what's up? What's your problem? Nothing. Hey Katie, did you do the science homework? No. Man, you got a problem? What are you talking about? Talking to my girl? I'm just asking her for the right. Whoa. Hey. 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 To Katie, the fight is identical to the violent behavior of wolves, who make threatening gestures such as baring their teeth and staring down their enemy while competing over an available mate. This visual communication mechanism is a common exhibit of an agnostic behavior known as a display of aggression. Sound is yet another means of communication used by animals to converse over long distances, dark nights, and through water. Animals such as dolphins produce a unique whistle to identify themselves. This means of communication is called echolocation and is a series of clicking noises that produce frequencies that other dolphins can comprehend. When the teacher blew his whistle, the students immediately responded to the stimulus of the high-pitched sound. Hello? Hey, Connor. Hi. Hey, I just wanted to talk to you about yesterday. I really think you and Matt should apologize to each other. It makes me so angry. Every time I see him, I just want to attack him. Please, just apologize. Alright, fine. Not because I really want to. Alright, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Uh, dude, can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. What's up? Um, I... I'm sorry, man. I don't want you to think that... I'm going after your girl or anything, it's just, sometimes you get carried away. The final means of communication is called tactile animal behavior. By sense of touch, animals can express emotions of superiority, friendliness, and animal bonding. When Matt and Connor shook hands, they were sharing a moment of mutual respect. As Katie once again became conscious of her classroom settings, she thought of a question to ask her teacher. Just when did humans become civilized enough to stop relying on their senses for communication? But before she had time to ask, the bell rang, signaling the end of class.